hello guys in the last couple of videos i have been teaching you the basics of uh, window builder gui in eclipse using java and i have shown you some of the basic uh, programs or uh, basic concept of uh, window builder gui like this and how to use this window builder gui in eclipse using java now i want to build from this video a small little project so that uh, it uh, i'm going to build this project i'm and i'm going to teach uh, uh, i'm tr going to try to teach uh, every tool or component we have in here by building that project so in a way you will build a project also and you will uh, learn uh, how to use these uh, components or tools also so from this video i am going to create a connection to the database with this uh, java uh, application so i'm going to use sklite ja uh, database for connection to this uh, gui which we are making in java and we are going to make a little login page uh, in connection with this database but first of all i want to show you how you can create your database in sklite sklite is a serverless database that means you can transfer this database from one computer to another without worrying for uh, uh, the connection to the server so it's not server based database it's a kind of local database which exist on one computer only okay so let me show you how you can uh, first of all create a database i will show you the simple method there can be uh, other method for creating sklite database but uh, what i find uh, simple uh, i'm going to show you but if you don't know uh, about sklite how to use sklite what you can do is you can go to my channel which is uh, youtube slash programming knowledge and you can find their sklite tutorial if you are really new to uh, sklite database you can find those tutorials here so go to my channel which is programming knowledge and go to playlist and in here you will be able to find this playlist in here so this playlist is called sklite database so this is the playlist which i'm talking about beginners sklite tutorial and in here i have uh, explained how you can create database query to the database and some of the basics of sklite but in this video also i'm going to show you how you can easily make sklite database in your computer so the easiest thing is to use firefox as a sklite manager so if you don't have firefox just uh, download this firefox uh, from internet it's free if as you all know and uh, in here in the firefox i have the newest version of firefox which is firefox i think 31 so open your firefox and uh, click this small button here and in here you will find this different uh, section what we are interested in is add-ons so click this add-ons here and search for the add-on called sklite and press enter and you will find this sklite manager 0.8.1 it's free so just click install and it will be installed in your uh, firefox browser as a plugin just restart your firefox so i will once again restart my firefox and now how to search for that uh, sklite manager in firefox so in the older version the uh, it was really easier to find this sklite manager by going to the top menu but in this new firefox you need to go to customize so just click this customize here 
and in here you will be able to find your Escalite manager right so just drag and drop this Escalite manager in this menu in here okay and you will be good to go and just exit customization and now you will be able to see Escalite manager here just open this Escalite manager and we are ready to create our Escalite database it's really simple to make Escalite database in this uh, Escalite manager to create a new database you can go here and say new database and give the name of the database for example I want to create a database for employees so I will say employee um, what we can say employee data database okay and this will create an extension dot SQLite it will automatically give an extension to your database as dot SQLite but it's not necessary that all SQLite database has the same extension they can have dot db extension also or other extension also but SQLite manager in Firefox create the extension dot SQLite so don't worry about it and click OK and now it will ask for the location where you want to save your database okay so save uh, a location which you can locate uh, later right so for example let's say where can I save my database I will go to user and I will go to the same workspace which I'm using for uh, this uh, Eclipse okay you can save it anywhere it's uh, not I mean it's not uh, necessary that you need to save it um, in the specified folder you can choose any folder of your choice and just select that folder and then this Escalite database will be created there okay now in order to add tables you need to right click right now whenever you create uh, this database it has zero tables so you need to add tables so just right click this tables here and click create table and in here you can give create a table so for example I name my table as employee info table and here I can make the column names so the basics you can uh, find on my playlist of my channel but I will uh, quickly create uh, these columns first column will be EID second column will be name name third column will be surname both will be user name fifth will be password and for example sixth will be age for now I need uh, these columns maybe I will add more columns but for now it's okay EID will be integer data type and name will be text and surname will be text username will be text and password will be text and my age will be integer okay so I have quickly created this database and for example I say EID is my primary key I will click OK and click yes so now I have one table created in the Escalite manager and in this table I can add some data okay so how to add data you can just make it bigger and just go to the table and go to browse and search here and to add some data you can just go to add and for example employee ID 1 name is mark some surname username for example 1 you can give any username password also one for example and age is 35 for example okay okay so I have created added one data I will once again add the second data this is John it's 
some surname and user name 2 password 2 age 25 so I have two uh, rows of data I have created and this is your database and what is so once you create your database and wherever you have uh, given the location for saving this database you will find this database there so I will look for uh, this database once again where I have saved I have saved it in workspace you can see employee.sklite database here right so this is the database I have created and it has some data okay now I can close this Firefox browser and I will create a new project this I have been showing in you in the last two videos but I will create a new project for this okay so what I'm going to do is I will close this for now I will go to file new new project and I will name this project as company project okay and everything will remain save, uh, same I will click next and I will click finish so it has created me a project called company it has subfolder called source and some libraries okay in this I'm going to add a class so go, just go to the source folder right click it and go to new and I'm going to add a class and this class I will call as escalate connection class so this class will help us to connect to the database and make sure this is not checked public static void main is not checked it's unchecked okay so this method uh, this class will not contain the main method okay this is our helper class and just click uh, finish now you have uh, this escalate connection class it doesn't have anything other than the class name so what we are going to do is in here we are we want to import some of the imports to connect to the database first import is import java dot sql dot star or asterisk whenever you use this asterisk it this means that you this will be sql right so whenever you use uh, this asterisk after dot it means whatever class this sql uh, namespace or whatever have it will add all the classes related to X, uh, sql okay and the second import is import java x dot swing okay so we have created our uh, two imports now I will create a method which will be a public method public static and this method will return the connection so I will say connection and the name of the method will be um, for example DV, DB connector okay and this will take no argument and uh, this will take we will start the method and end the method like this so let's create a global variable maybe we will use this in future so just write connection con is equal to null and do it like this and so this connection is a part of your java.sql class you see when you hover over this this is a part of your java.sql dot connection class right that's why I, I have used this and this method will return the connection 
and first of all in the last video I've shown you how to create a try catch block so just uh, make a quick try catch block try catch and it will take exceptions so just write 